It's just the letter that they gave them. Four of them. Okay. Now the seat is the next thing I need. Yeah, I need a workbench, don't I? I guess I could use the top of the box. Yeah, let's just do it in my lap. Okay, so if that is that way. Let's see. There's only... No, there they are. One, two, three, four. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to put it in my lap the way that I can... Where it won't fall out. Okay, yeah, so you can't really put it together wrong. It'll only fit one way. Put your J screws in there. I don't think I got it opened up good enough yet. Worried about that falling off. Now we need to find a bit that will drive these things. Ooh, first try. Got it. Okay. Okay, now. <clears throat> you know, when I was looking at videos about these impacts and stuff, I couldn't believe that these young people, I mean, they're 30 to 40 years old, uh, they were sticking these dadgum things in here like this, or they'd have one that's like longer, you know, double that length. And they'd constantly fall out and didn't have a magnet. Well, these things have been around since, well, I guess, long before you were born, but they've been around since the 70s, late, early 80s. They, it's a magnet in there, and it'll hold, you can swip, quick swap the tips, get all different links. Don't understand their. Uh... And somebody showed them this new revolutionary tool that would. Hold the bits. I mean, it was really strange and cost a lot of money. I don't remember exactly what it looked like, but I guess I better break down and get the uh, get the old Allen wrench out of there. It'd probably help out in getting them started. Now. Uh, yeah. Actually, I may not need it. You don't want to start them with an impact or a drill, that's for sure. That's actually going to help out there. And if you, when you start a screw, turn it backwards a little bit until it kind of drops down in. Then go on down with it. I'm just going to kind of even them up. Kind of, there we go. Don't overdo it with this thing. It's got a... 
I think, I don't know, I never did think that the uh, clutch was adjustable. Uh, I guess maybe the way you adjust is about how hard you push on it, because it was letting go easier than I expected it to. That's all right, I didn't want to break anything. See, they're still not, that one's almost pretty much it. Yeah. That, uh, to tell for sure, I'll get my pliers out and see. You never get it tight enough, you know, the short end with the short end. on there huh I think he's in the way of that Ooh. okay that was a, a on or off kind of deal yeah, and that's the one that's going to hit the up and down I suppose that this is here the way it belongs there's nothing to no caps or anything for those oh that's what those are I don't see the caps in the pixel. You might well there they are up there, but I don't see when they're telling you to put them on there. I mean, some of that. Sometimes things like that don't matter, but sometimes they do. I'll leave those because let's see. Yeah, they've got those caps. May really only be for the arms. Those are sharp enough. You can. You start filling around with them, you can hurt yourself. You can cut yourself pretty good. But I'll wait until. Uh, but that's kind of odd looking. It's being held up by that, and if I'd have had this, see, oh, it, oh, it's made. It doesn't go down any further than that. But yeah, it would be good to have a cap over that. So I will do that if I can, if I have one that I can. Okay, now where's the next thing? Yeah, put it on the base. It just says shows it. <laughs> up above the base and an arrow going down. It doesn't show you any way to attachment. I s there's threads in here, oddly enough. No, they're not threads. It's just a really super rough, bad lathe job. <laughs> it's like they cut it with the dullest cutter they could find in the shop. Oh, there you go. One of the first things to learn about it. It goes crazy when you try and uh, I'm going to set the seat in the floor and put that on it because you won't be able to see what you're doing the other way. Okay, now. There she goes. It seems to be just uh, well, it kind of grabbed it. See, you can pick it up. I'm sure if you shook it around, it would come off. But, uh, it's basically a hand press fit. It's held together. Once you, sit, once you get 210 or 20 pounds, whatever it is I weigh right now on there, I imagine it'll... Well, that's for the back. Where's the... There we go. Whoops. Yeah. It came off when it got to the top. So, uh, yeah, that would be very bad. So, uh, I think I will set on it and let it down, and hopefully it will. We'll do the butt press. See if we can get it on down there. There. Yeah. yeah I could, you could if you if I would have uh, been sitting on it when I first tried to raise it up the first time like that, it we would have we would have all been in the floor. Okay, so. Uh, 
I gotta have another drink. You know, the pieces, I mean, everything feels... Feels like the upholstery seems thick enough to, that it should, hopefully it'll last. The metal seems strong enough. Um, I'm kind of already going in my head ahead of the... Uh, oh, okay. So we'll... Uh, go back like that. Yeah, it would be... It'd be so good uh, to get this new chair and stop having to fight this old one. Next thing is the back. Put the T-brace on the back. So I'll use the chair as a workbench for that. And... Uh, Yeah, if you try to go that way, it wouldn't fit. So you go that way. And uh, we got a K. The screws are letter K. Three of them. So that looks like it's going to be the black ones. K, yeah, and then these, these here will be the other screws that go somewhere. Yanked one of those screws out of there. With got it got hung on the blade. <coughs> <coughs> See, pliers can make your hand about six inches longer. Your fingers about six inches longer. I went down there just where I couldn't reach it without a problem. This is going to be a little more trickly to get lined up. <coughs> See if I can line one of these up first. <coughs> yeah, so... Uh, at least I'm getting, I've, I'm, I don't, you know, I'm not short anything. I hope my last day of return ability. Because this is uh, 2.18 a.m. So, so I'd have, you know, all day today to get it set up, taking it back. I mean, I wouldn't take it back. I would send it back. You're supposed to be able to send it, take it uh I ordered it delivered, so I I shouldn't most unless there's something wonky. There was some talk in the reviews about not even be able to send them back to the Walmart store, but it says all over the where I bought it on the page so you can send it back to the store. And when you know when you order stuff, uh, they usually you know send you a ticket to to have it picked up from the shipper. Okay, so. I'm gonna hit that just a little more. I'm not sure how much I got that started. Yeah. I could turn them on in, but hey. This particular holder is not the best magnet, I will say that. Well, I think what it is, is uh, I really don't trust my... I, I haven't had that impact long enough to know by feel, you know, how tight I have things, so... Better do that. See, I could have gone quite a bit more. This one, I think, is pretty well... No, it's not all the way. And the drill, the 18 volt drill is twice or three times the size of that. And it's heavy, even with even with the uh, 20 volt 
adapter on it. It's well, it sure does work good with the 20 volts over eight instead of 18 volts. But I bought an adapter and I can use those 20 uh, 20 volt batteries. Well, I bought this one came with this, and then I bought two more five five amp hours from you know China stuff. And you know I don't use them all every day. Just use them once in a while. And I'll tell you one thing: keep them out of the cold. I have learned from watching videos for years. That's what will kill these uh, lithium ion or lie on, or whatever you want to call them, batteries. Is letting them uh, stay in the cold, and they'll run down. And then once they've run down, it will pro it can ruin them completely. There's some tricks you can try to get them back up, but we'll generally have to open them up and bypass the v BMS and, and battery management system. Bypass it and charge them up with a bench top charger of some sort, you know. But anyway, get them up to like enough volts that the BMS will recognize it. Like three or four or five volts, I think it is. Yeah, a little leery because I know, see that's going to be I'm most likely particle board in there. It could be plywood. It'd be nice if it was. But those are, uh, what you're screwing into is a metal thing that, uh, actually I've learned, I can't remember it now, but I've seen a lot of videos and they, I never knew what they were called, or where to buy them. I mean, seen them ever since I was, I don't know. So I remember seeing them in the early 80s and stuff, but uh, you'll see them in all, a lot of woodworking videos. But uh, they screw into a hole in wood and then you got to, it's a nut. It's, I think it's called some certain kind of nut. Something nut. Yeah, so what I'm saying is don't just give it everything you got. Uh, even with this little Allen wrench because you don't have to pull the thing right out of there. It depends on if they put it in from the other side and it's got a, a, a sleeve on it, then it wouldn't pull through very easy. But usually they put them, they screw them in that way and just depend on the threads in them to hold on to the wood. Yeah. And that was one of the things that broke on some of these kind of chairs that I saw was this mount, these mounts here. And I mean, when you lean on it, you're really going to be putting some pressure on it. So. Hopefully they put it together in the smart way, not the lazy way. Most people, most manufacturers put things together the way they can get them together the fastest unless they, uh, you know, are trying to make a quality reputation for themselves. Good quality. See, that hurts. These old cheap old in ranch, the uh, Allen ranches are it's sharp on the edges. That one just keeps on turning a little more and a little more. So does that one. See, you're squishing the uh, padding. and That one worries me. I'm not going to go any further on it. It doesn't feel like it it's doesn't... It feels pretty tight on there. If it begins to loosen up after I use it a while, then I'll I'll try tighten it down some more. But I mean, you would really have to tear this thing up to try to fix that if you know if that came loose. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm pretty sure the next one will be to put the back onto the oh they're telling you to put that stuff on there put the pillows and stuff on there I think I will wait on that I may see no oh the yeah definitely want to do it before you put the arms on there but I don't see any reason why you can't just do that after you plug it into the chair yeah, okay. <clears throat> now this thing down here, within the, yeah, this slot is for this. 
don't know. I was wondering if it kind of... Oh, they, yeah, it's not going to go past it, I don't think. Well, maybe it's supposed to. Oh, it's, uh, see, it's hitting here. They're hitting each other. But it is not in there very, I can't reach it with my finger. Let's see. I don't know if it's, let's see how much I got in there. Oh, it's more in there than I thought. Okay, so, I think if you just let them mate up, that will be good. I think that's what you're supposed to do. And then this, I would, was thinking would tighten up to hold it. Doesn't act like it wants to tighten up. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna leave it right there. Yeah, it grabs it. Oh, but now I, huh? yeah. No, yes. I don't know if I'm feeling the end of that T-bar. I remember reading that somewhere on one of these chairs like this. They call that a T-bar. Okay, now. I started to try out the lean back part, but I'll wait till I get the arms on it and then try them out. Okay, so we've got four, one, two, three, four more screws and two arms. So, oh, but, uh, oh, I see why they told you to do that. But I've been, I got to do it before I put the arms on. Uh, did I turn? I think I've had that. Uh, it did work out okay, but I realize now that I think when I'm, I didn't realize how the uh, camera had moved so much. There you go. Oh. This. Where are you? Yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> that little picture. It's hard to see. But yeah, I'll turn it this way, I guess. And, uh. We'll put on our, uh, pillows. They show like they go together. This one here. Got a little thing here. This one here. Oh, okay. This one is supposed to be the top one. And this one's the bottom one. Yeah, that's what I would have expected. I was wondering which way the design, I guess you go which way you want it to go. Seems like it's the way it's shaped, it's probably better off that way. And it's got these little clips. So, oh, they'll those, those will zip. There's a zipper on that. You can take that off. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, let's see. They're the same length. Oh, okay. So this one, you know, I think this probably goes over the top. Yeah, I think you put that up there like that. I suppose you could turn it every way, but either way, but I think I like the V up. That's probably how they meant you to do it. I see which way would I like it the best. Yeah, I think it's kind of thinner on, and rounded off more on this side so I think I want that like that yeah I don't know if this part right here is going to be any good for me at all or if it'll just drive me crazy but yeah now that the seat's in there but you can get it in there <clears throat> it's not really a real problem but getting it to set in the right place is what I'm wondering about I want to make sure I don't have my 